the nice ninja. Once there was a beautiful valley, and in that valley there were two towns on hills. Above those towns was a ninja dojo, a training ground for ninjas. One of the towns, Stinkerton, was full of stinky people. There were pigs and run-down houses and bad well water and crows and dead trees. The people in Stinkerton had a bad reputation for being stinky. At least that's what the people in Snobberton said. You see, the people in Snobberton had nice houses, nice trees, and lots of sunlight and happiness, running around and playing in their nice lawns. They looked down on the people from Stinkerton. But the people from Stinkerton said that the people from Snobberton were snobby. They were jerks, and they were stuck up, and they are never nice to anyone, and they're born that way. But there was also a ninja dojo, a training camp for ninja up in the hills outside of town. And the master of the dojo decided that in order to get more ninjas, that he would steal babies from the two towns beneath. They stole newborn babies from Stinkerton families, they stole newborn babies from Snobberton families, too. The master then brought those babies back, and he trained them all trained exactly you. alike to be ninjas. Be Ninja babies. Training montage. Uh. Jumping over walls. Descending a rope to fight sharks. Shooting arrows at some things. Uh, there are five ninjas in this picture. Can you find them? Didn't think so. They grew up exactly alike. They ate all the same food together. They slept in dormitories like at summer camp. And they grew up this way, all being given the exact same upbringing. From infancy, to childhood, to adolescence, to young adulthood, to adulthood. And even though they'd been raised the same, some of the ninjas still were different than others. Some were taller, with stubby arms. Others were short. Or they had oblong heads. Or unibrows. But one of them was the nice ninja. Even though he was a trained killer, he just always treated people nicely. Which is not a thing that ninjas do. And because of that, he was banished from the ninja dojo. Get out, said the master. So he wandered the countryside. And one day he came upon a damsel in distress who was being attacked by a tiger. What do I do, thought the ninja. Then he had an idea. He jumped onto the tiger's back and dangled the flower in front of its face. He then led it away and put it to sleep by singing it lullabies. All the while a crowd had formed in celebration of the girl who had been saved. The nice ninja was a hero. The crowd formed around the ninja and it was full of people from both Stinkerton and Snobberton. These people knew full well about how the ninja dojo had been stealing and raising their babies. Well, the people from Snobberton said to the ninja, Good deed, young man. Great job saving this damsel. You must surely have been abducted from Snobberton. You seem to be cut from a good cloth, and you don't stink like those Stinkerton stinkers. At the same time, the people from Stinkerton said, Great job saving that there girl. You, you sir, hear it. You must have been taken from a, our town, because you aren't snobby and mean like them Snobberton snobbers. But the Snobbertonians replied, But you Stinkertons were born stinky, and he does not stink. He's one of us. No, 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 you darn Snobbertons are... are Stupid with your shabby shabby and your fru fru fru. He's decent like us, not you. But the ninja stopped them. What are you talking about? I could be from either town. But the fact that I'm neither stinky nor snobby shows that there's really no natural difference between your two towns. Back at the dojo, nobody was stinky or snobby, and we came from both of your towns. So stinky and snobby aren't the ways that you are born. Entire groups of people aren't born different from each other. That's not the way things work. Then the people asked, Well, if we weren't born that way, then why are the Stinkertons so stinky? And if ain't no blood, then how, how these dang Snobbertons get so dang snobby? Well, said the ninja, I think it has more to do with the way that you were raised and the place that you grew up than who you are as a person by birth. It's nurture, not nature. 
Individual people within each town may have been born differently, but not a whole town from another town. To say that one of your towns has better people in it is impossible to prove when you grew up in entirely different situations. So quit hating, said the ninja. The end. What did this story have to do with the following things? Heritability. The self-fulfilling prophecy. Representativeness bias. Temperament. Nature versus nurture. The person situation controversy. The fundamental attribution error. And confirmation bias. <laughs> <laughs>